hey guys welcome to attack device today in this video i'm gonna show you guys how you can flash the xiaomi store chrome on any of the xiaomi's phone so for example in this video i'm gonna take redmi note 6 pro and i will be installing the store chrome of redmi note 6 pro on redmi note 6 pro yeah so you want to do this for maybe many reasons like if you have installed some custom rom and you want to come back to stock rom and there may be other reasons so this video is for you and also this method doesn't include any third party software or any flashing tool because there are many methods available using which you can flash the custom rom like using twrp recovery using stock recovery or using xiaomi's flash tool but in this method you don't need any third party tool you just need two files and you should be good to go yeah the only one condition is that your bootloader of your phone should be unlocked yeah that's the only condition so before using this method you need to unlock the bootloader of your xiaomi phone and you should be good to go so you need two files to to flash the stock rom so i will put the link to download those files in the description box below just go ahead and download those files one of the file will be the tulip global rom and another file is the platform tool tools so once you download that and uh, that's all it's very simple process i will just show you right now so for example this is my redmi note 6 pro which i will be using in this demo earlier i was on a different rom i had installed custom rom and yesterday itself i flashed the xiaomi's rom on this device so it's working very nicely i installed it and it came out very nice and process was very simple so i just wanted to share this process with you guys so that you can also enjoy this so now what you have to do is you have you need to put your xiaomi device in the fast boot mode and you guys probably already know that how to do that you just have to press the volume button key and power power key so let's first switch off our phone so there you go it's power off now so now you have to press the volume down key and power key simultaneously so it will put your phone into the fast boot mode there you go so as soon as you see this fast boot logo your phone is good to go and now what you have to do is just connect your phone with the laptop or computer on which you are working and keep your phone aside so let's do that so i have connected my phone with my laptop i hope you guys can see it let me just rotate my camera yep that's it now let's start the process so once you will download those files one of could be this tulip global flash home and another one is platform tools and this is the page from where you want to download the stock rom from for your redmi note 6 pro so based on the phone you are using download that fastboot file i have downloaded this redmi note 6 pro's global stable version which i will be using in this demo i have already extracted this uh, global rom which is this folder it was very big folder that's why i already uh, extracted here on my desktop and another one is this platform tools and you want to extract these also so let's do that and you will get this platform tools folder now what you have to do is just open this tulip global rom flash files and you can either copy or cut these files let me just cut and paste them in the platform tools folder so i'll just paste it here now our all the files which are there in this global rom folder are in this platform tools folder so we'll close the another folder now here you need to concentrate on three files one is this flash all that second one is flash all accept data and third one is flash all log so these three files which you will use 
actually any one of them which you will use to flash the stroke ROM of your Redmi Note 6 Pro so let me just tell you what is the difference so if you want to flash your stroke ROM and delete all the data but still want to keep your bootloader unlocked you will be using this file flash all and now setting file if you want to flash your if you want to flash your stock ROM and you want to keep your data as well as your bootloader remains unlocked you want to use this file and the last file flash all log if you want to delete all your data as well as you want your bootloader to be logged again you will be using this file so in this demo I will be using flash all except data bad because I don't want my data to be deleted as well as I want to keep my bootloader unlocked so that's why I will be using this file so you don't have to do anything you don't have to use any different tool you just have to double click on this folder I'm sorry on this file and everything will be done within some minutes so let's start the process I'll just double click and this command prompt window has been opened and it will run some some commands so it will start flashing the stock rom on your device so this process might take around 10 to 15 minutes so i will just fast forward this process so that it will be easy for you guys to understand you can see on screen guys our <coughs> flashing process has done now our phone will start booting and now you can just click any key and this flashing window will close now let's disconnect our phone and show you that our phone started booting up and one more thing I want to tell you guys that if your phone doesn't boot up don't worry just flash it again and next time you want to flash it with flash all that because there may be some data which cause this boot not to be started properly so just try deleting all the data and you should be good to go I faced this problem and I flashed it with deleting all the data and it works very nice so I hope it won't create the problem now because I have already deleted my data so let's see if it boots up it will take some time and maybe around two minutes and it will start and you definitely have to set this phone up again so let's keep it aside and wait there you go so the phone has started again as you can see it has boot up now everything whatever was available in this phone will stay in this phone because we have used flash all accept data so this was very simple process and we have within 10 minutes we have flashed the stock room of redmi note 6 pro on our phone successfully so i hope you guys like this video and if you like this video share this with your friends and subscribe to this channel thank you very much See you in the next. Bye-bye.